What kind of a follower of Christ are we? Peace and all blessings, my dear brothers and sisters. This is Sister Doimi of the Daughters of St. Paul, bringing to you today's reflection on the Gospel from the Gospel Power. In those days, when there was again a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus called his disciples and said to them, I have compassion for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will faint on the way, and some of them have come from a great distance. His disciples replied, How can one feed these people with bread? Here in the desert, he asked them, How many loaves do you have? They said, Seven. Then he ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves, and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute. And they distributed them to the crowd. They had also a few small fish, and after blessing them, he ordered that these two should be distributed. They ate and were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. Now, there were about four thousand people, and he sent them away. And immediately, he got into the boat with his disciples and went to the district of Dalmanutha. The disciples are portrayed in today's gospel episode as men of short memory. Having failed to understand the meaning of the first feeding miracle narrated in the sixth chapter of Mark, they have also forgotten that it ever happened. And here they are again, faced with a hungry crowd and worried about where to get the food to satisfy these people. But Jesus shows utmost patience with his slow-witted disciples and involves them again in the feeding of this crowd. If we would be honest, dear friends, we would recognize this as our own story too. When we worry over many things, are we not forgetting the many times God has shown us his care? Though we do not express doubt, about God's reliability, our worry says it loud and clear. How patient and merciful God is with us, His slow-witted creatures. Lord Jesus, Your outstretched arms on the cross tell us that infinity is the measure of God's patience and mercy toward us. Thank You for loving us undeserving though we are. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health 
protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Celebrating the Pauline Family Year of the Word of God from November 26, 2020 to November 26, 2021 with a theme that the Lord's message may spread quickly. Yeah.